Dealing with negative people is a challenge we all face at some point in our lives. Whether it's a colleague, a friend, or a family member, their pessimism, criticism, or general negativity can be draining and disruptive. The ancient philosophy of Stoicism offers profound insights and practical strategies for managing such interactions with grace and resilience. In this lesson, we will explore how Stoic principles can guide us in maintaining our peace of mind and emotional balance when dealing with negative people. Stoicism, founded in the early 3rd century BC, teaches the development of self-control and fortitude as a means to overcome destructive emotions. The philosophy encourages the practice of virtue and wisdom, emphasizing that we cannot control external events, only our reactions to them. By understanding and applying these principles, we can navigate the turbulence caused by negative individuals without compromising our own well-being. 1. Understanding Negative People Before diving into specific Stoic strategies, it's essential to understand why people exhibit negative behaviors. Negative people often act out of their own unresolved issues, insecurities, or misunderstandings. They may be dealing with stress, trauma, or mental health challenges that manifest as negativity. Recognizing that their behavior is more about them than about us is a critical first step in dealing with them effectively. 2. The Dichotomy of Control One of the foundational concepts in Stoicism is the dichotomy of control, as articulated by Epictetus. This principle divides the world into things we can control and things we cannot. According to Epictetus, we have control over our thoughts, emotions, and actions, but not over external events or other people's behaviors. When dealing with negative people, we must remind ourselves that their actions and attitudes are beyond our control. What we can control is our response to them. By focusing on our own reactions, we can maintain our composure and prevent their negativity from affecting our inner peace. 3. Practicing Equanimity Equanimity, or maintaining mental calmness and composure, is a crucial Stoic practice. Marcus Aurelius, in his Meditations, often reflects on the importance of remaining calm in the face of adversity. When confronted with negativity, we should strive to keep our emotions in check and respond with patience and understanding. To practice equanimity, consider the following steps. Pause and breathe. When faced with a negative person, Take a moment to pause and breathe deeply. This helps to prevent an immediate emotional reaction and allows you to approach the situation with a clear mind. Detach emotionally. Try to detach yourself emotionally from the negative behavior. View it as an external event that does not have to affect your internal state. Remind yourself that you have the power to choose your response. Respond with compassion. Instead of reacting with frustration or anger, respond with compassion. Understand that the negative person may be struggling with their own issues. A compassionate response can sometimes diffuse the negativity and lead to a more constructive interaction. 4. Setting Boundaries While Stoicism teaches patience and compassion, it also emphasizes the importance of self-respect and personal boundaries. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, advises that we should avoid unnecessary harm to ourselves. This means that while we should strive to be understanding and patient, we must also protect our own well-being. Setting boundaries is essential when dealing with persistently negative people. This can involve limiting interactions. If possible, reduce the amount of time you spend with negative individuals. This is particularly important if their negativity significantly impacts your mood or mental health. Communicating clearly. If the negative person is someone you cannot avoid, such as a family member or coworker, communicate your boundaries clearly and assertively. Let them know how their behavior affects you and what changes you need to see. Saying no. Don't be afraid to say no to unreasonable demands or negative interactions. It's important to prioritize your own well-being and not allow others to drain your energy. 5. Reframing the situation. Stoicism encourages us to reframe challenging situations in a more positive light. This practice, known as cognitive reframing, helps us change our perspective and find the good in difficult circumstances. 
Marcus Aurelius often wrote about the power of perception and the ability to see obstacles as opportunities for growth. When dealing with negative people, try to reframe the situation by seeing it as a test. View interactions with negative people as a test of your own patience and virtue. Each encounter is an opportunity to practice and strengthen your stoic principles. Finding Lessons Look for lessons in the negative behavior. What can you learn from this person's actions? How can you grow from the experience? This approach shifts your focus from frustration to personal development. Focusing on the positive. Identify any positive aspects of the person or situation. Even in the most challenging interactions, there can be something to appreciate or learn from. This helps to balance out the negativity and maintain a more positive outlook. 6. Practicing Mindfulness and Reflection Mindfulness and self-reflection are key practices in Stoicism. Regularly reflecting on our thoughts and actions helps us stay aligned with our values and make more deliberate choices. Seneca recommended a daily practice of reviewing one's day to identify areas for improvement and reinforce virtuous behavior. In dealing with negative people, mindfulness and reflection can be incredibly beneficial. Consider incorporating the following practices. Daily Reflection At the end of each day, reflect on your interactions with negative people. Consider how you responded and what you could do differently in the future. This helps to reinforce positive behaviors and prepare for future encounters. Mindful Breathing Practice mindful breathing exercises to stay centered and calm during difficult interactions. Focus on your breath to bring your attention back to the present moment and reduce emotional reactivity. Journaling. Keep a journal to document your thoughts and feelings about interactions with negative people. Writing can be a therapeutic way to process your emotions and gain clarity on how to handle similar situations in the future. 7. Seeking support. While Stoicism emphasizes self-reliance, it also acknowledges the value of supportive relationships. Epictetus and other Stoic philosophers often spoke about the importance of surrounding oneself with virtuous and supportive individuals. When dealing with negative people, seeking support from positive and understanding friends or mentors can provide much-needed perspective and encouragement. Consider the following ways to seek support. Talk to a friend. Share your experiences with a trusted friend who can offer a sympathetic ear and helpful advice. Sometimes simply talking about the situation can lighten the emotional load. Seek mentorship. If you have a mentor or a coach, discuss your challenges with them. They can provide guidance on how to handle negative people in a constructive and stoic manner. Join a community. Engage with a community that shares your values and interests. This can provide a sense of belonging and support, helping you stay grounded when dealing with negativity. 8. Applying Virtues in Interactions the Stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance provide a framework for how to interact with others, including negative people. By embodying these virtues, we can handle difficult interactions with integrity and resilience. Wisdom Use wisdom to discern the best way to respond to negativity. Reflect on past experiences and draw on your knowledge to make thoughtful decisions. Courage have the courage to stand up for yourself and maintain your boundaries. It takes bravery to address negative behavior and assert your needs. Justice. Treat negative people fairly and justly, even if they do not reciprocate. Strive to be ethical and fair in your interactions, regardless of the other person's behavior. Temperance. Practice self-control and moderation in your reactions. Avoid overreacting or getting drawn into negativity. Maintain a balanced and measured approach. Conclusion Dealing with negative people is an inevitable part of life, but it doesn't have to undermine our peace of mind or personal growth. By embracing stoic principles, we can navigate these challenging interactions with resilience and grace. The dichotomy of control reminds us to focus on our own reactions, while practices like equanimity, boundary setting, and cognitive reframing help us maintain our composure and well-being. Mindfulness, reflection, and seeking support from positive relationships further strengthen our ability to handle negativity constructively. 
by embodying the stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, we can interact with negative people in a way that aligns with our values and promotes our personal growth. Ultimately, Stoicism teaches us that while we cannot control the actions of others, we can control how we respond. By applying these principles, we can transform our encounters with negative people into opportunities for practicing virtue and cultivating inner peace.